Okay, yeah, guys, welcome back to Think Tank Online Learning. In this video, we're going to talk about areas of surfaces in space. Okay, so, given a problem, find the area of a portion of the surface Z squared equals x squared plus y squared lying between the between the plane Z equals to 2 and Z is equal to 3. Okay, and you should remember that we're in space. So, there are many methods of solving this, but I'm going to show you two methods in this video. Okay. So the first method, we're going to use this formula. The area of surface is given by the partial derivative of f squared, the partial derivative of f with respect to x squared, f with respect to y squared plus 1, then compute dy dx, okay? And we're provided that the function f of x is the plane, is the equation of the plane, okay? So look at this equation. We're given a cone, okay? So this is a cone, okay? And this is the upper plane, z equals to 3. Then this is the lower plane, z is equal to 2. Okay. So I want to find the area, the surface area. So now, what I'm going to do is now simple. I'm going to make z subject of the formula. So I'm going to say z is equal to the square root of x squared minus y squared. Okay. If you know that you are not good at integration or differentiation, you should use the second method. Okay, because this one it can be tricky. Okay, so let's find z x. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as x squared plus y squared to the power one half. Okay, so let's drop the power one half x squared plus y squared to the power negative one half because we're just going to say minus one times the inner derivative which is 2x okay and this one we'll get into this one and now we're left with x over x squared plus y squared or under the square root okay and we're going to y so i'm going to say the y is close to half x squared plus y squared to the power negative half and i'm going to multiply by the inner derivative of 2y of y squared which is 2y this one into this one so that means i'm going to get y over x squared plus y squared or under square root okay so that means we're going to have double integral. Let's square this. We're going to get x over x squared plus y squared or under the square root squared, okay, plus y x squared plus y squared or under the square root squared plus 1. So this is the square root and dy. Okay. And we're going to do some algebra here. So area of the surface is equal to x squared. And if we square something inside the square root, okay. Root a times root a is a. So you are going to get x squared over x squared plus y squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared plus 1 da okay still you have the square root okay now these are like terms with the same denominator okay it's good we're saying one half plus one half just two over two okay just set the numerators so let's set the numerators x squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared and i'm going to say plus one okay we're very lucky we're going to say double integral of one plus one or under the square root ta They've put the since and not really put a limit, and this is equal to 
equal to 2 dA. Okay, we have succeeded in finding this expression. Now, the tricky part is the limits. Okay, so on limits, if we solve these equations, this equation and these two equations simultaneously, we're going to obtain the equation of a cylinder and the equation of a circle. Okay, so since I'm running out of space, I'm going to say z. So I'm going to say 2 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So this is the equation of a cylinder. But since we are in now in x, y plane, it's not the equation of a circle. Of radius 2. Same applies here. 3 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay. So what does that mean? If we look at the top, we have shadow. The shadow of this, the shadow of this shape is a circle, but... We have two circles, the smaller and the bigger one. Okay, so I am going to draw limits here. I'm going to draw a circle. So this is a circle. Y, X. Okay, so the center is, this is the first circle, which is the radius of three, right? And I'm going to draw the circle which is radius of two and what is the region the region we want is the region this region inside okay so theta still the same ranges from zero to two pi i'm going to use polar coordinates okay you could just use rectangular coordinates but they are very tricky okay we just love polar coordinates because they are easy. Then are uh, the radius. We are not ranging from zero. It's now from two to three. Okay. Then dy dx. We said dy dx. Okay. Dy dx is now equal to what? To r dr d theta. Okay. So let's do it here. We have 2 pi for the angle from 0 to 2 pi, 2 to 3, root to 2, r, d, r, d theta. Okay, so let's integrate respect to r. I'm going to get 2 pi, 0, root to 2, r squared, over 2, limits 3 and 2, d theta. And if we do that, we're going to get the integral of 2 pi. Zero. So we're going to say upper bond minus lower bond, and here we're going to get r squared, 3 squared, so we're going to get root 2 root 9 over 2 minus 2 root 2 over 2, and we're going to get, okay, so if you say lower bond minus the upper bond, we're going to get 5 going to get 5 root 2 over 2 to theta and finally if we integrate with respect to theta we're going to just add theta we're going to get 5 root 2 theta our limit is 2 pi to 0 okay and if we do this we're going to get okay let me write it in red and to get 5 root 2 Pi. Okay, so this is the first method, and now I'm going to the second method, realizing parametric equations.